I'm going to call this five-minute math fun with ketamine. Ketamine is a very dramatic drug to give because it accomplishes full sedation on a patient if you do it right. It's also fun because we get to do two different math calculations. The first is an induction dose. Induction means getting the patient knocked out in the first place. Your protocols might vary, but a very standard induction dose would be 2 milligrams per kilogram. We give it IV, we're doing an infusion, and we spread it out over 5 to 10 minutes for safety's sake. Once the patient is sedated, we also have to do a maintenance dose. A standard maintenance dose might be 1 milligram per kilogram per hour. Our first calculation is going to be fluid over time. And when you pull the reference card out of your pocket, you'll see fluid over time is the volume of fluid given times 60 minutes in order to convert it into an hour, and then the total number of minutes in which you're going to run it. That gives you an end result of milliliters per hour, which is what we program our IV pump to run. The maintenance dose is a milligram per kilogram per hour calculation which is the number of milligrams you're going to administer times the kilograms. But remember, this is already in hours. We don't have to multiply by 60 to convert to the hours. And then you divide by the concentration. As we play with these numbers, I'm going to put up the pause sign and allow you to pause the video so you can do the math yourself before I give you the answer and we can check your calculation. Do we have all the information we need in order to do this fluid over time calculation? Not quite yet. We still have to figure out the volume we're going to administer. And then for minutes, let's choose the conservative number of 10 minutes. Here's a standard bottle of ketamine that you find on a lot of ambulances. And you see that one vial has 500 milligrams in 10 milliliters. It does also tell you the concentration here, but that doesn't help us because we're going to need to mix this into a larger container in order to do both the induction and the maintenance dose. So let's do this the easy way and use a 500 cc or 500 milliliter bag of saline. The reason that's the easy way is because you're putting 500 milligrams of ketamine in 500 milliliters of fluid. That means one milligram in one milliliter or a one to one concentration. Our induction dose is two milligrams per kilogram. We'll say this patient weighs 70 kilograms. So two times 70 is 140 milligrams. And since 140 milligrams in a one-to-one -one concentration is also 140 milliliters, we now know our volume. So why don't you press pause here and do the calculation yourself, and then press play and we'll do it together. All right, our volume is 140. We're going to multiply by 60 to convert to hour, and then we said we were going to use the 10 minutes conservative time frame. 140 times 60 divided by 10 is 840 milliliters per hour. So that's our first answer here, 840. What about this milligram per kilogram per hour calculation? Do we know the milligrams? Yeah, one milligram. Do we know the kilograms? Yeah, the patient weighs 70 kilograms. And we calculated our concentration as well. I'll pause here while you do that calculation, and then we can double check it. How did you do? One milligram per kilogram, 70, and the concentration is 1 to 1. Well, that math is pretty simple, isn't it? That's why I said we're going to do things the easy way by putting 500 and 500, because the answer is 70 milliliters per hour. And when you mix up ketamine in a 1 to 1 concentration, all you really have to remember is the patient's weight 
is the same as the milliliters per hour for the maintenance dose. And there you go. Two simple calculations. 840 milliliters per hour in order to give that induction dose, and you have to stop at 140 cc's, and then run at 70 milliliters per hour for your maintenance dose. I hope by continuing to practice these calculations, you're increasing your comfort level in doing the math involved, and I hope you had just a little bit of fun with ketamine. We'll see you next time.